Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for missing the typically planned video on Wednesday, but I'm in the middle of a huge course launch and I'm feeling so overwhelmed. If you guys don't know, I'm launching a Udemy course on the new Power BI exam DA100. And this course is just light years away from anything else I've ever created. It's going to be close to 10 hours long when it's all said and done. Um, with that being said, with my lousy little excuse here, let's get into actually creating some value for you guys on the channel. So what I wanted to do is put together a little use case of how you can study survey data. And the key here is to actually pivot the data. Um, I'll link the data source down below, but I've actually pulled one of the uh, data files from the course. And if we take a look at our data tab, you can see we have four different questions and we can tie back those answers to a specific product and age and a gender. So what we're going to do in this video is actually walk through how you can uncover insights within survey data. So the first thing we need to do is open up the Power Query editor and we're going to have to unpivot. Now I come from the Tableau world and we typically just call it pivoting, but um, it's interesting seeing kind of the difference in vernacular between the different different visualization platforms. So first, let's select all of our survey responses. So select, what would you rate this product overall? Hold down shift, and then select the last question. We can head over to the transform tab, and we're going to unpivot the columns here. So let's rename this question, and we can rename this answer. So now let's head back to the Home tab and close and apply this transformation that we just made. All right, so this is all looking pretty good. So now we can tie back a specific rating to a question and then our product number, age, and gender. So let's head to the Visualization pane. And what we're going to do is actually build out a Likert scale that we can then add some slicers to so that the end user has some usability and they can start to figure out well, let's, let's focus on just how are males and how are females feeling about our specific product. So if we pull in a, actually it's going to have to be a 100% stacked bar chart. So what we can do is bring in the answer and the question. So let's blow this up a little bit. Actually, let's blow it up to right here and then we can put our slicers right here. Actually, never mind. Let's put this over here. We can put a title and then we can put our slicers. So it's going to look a little bit neater than that. So what we can do is actually put our answers in the legend. And now what we're going to have to do is just bring down respondents to the actual number. And this should be count. Let's do count. So now this is telling us how many people had different responses to the questions. So the next thing that I wanted to do was actually come over to the formatting tab and let's change the data colors. So what we need to do is actually make the one light, then make it a little bit darker, and then come here, and come here. And then finally, let's make that dark blue. So now we've got a Likert scale and this is giving us a pretty good indication overall of how do people feel about our hardware. So this is telling us, yeah, most people do like our hardware. Our software though, isn't having as many five star ratings as our hardware. So that is how you can start to uncover some insights. And this is usually how I put together survey analysis for my clients. So now let's make this a little bit better. So what we can do, is come over to the home tab and let's bring in a text box and let's just call this survey results i can never type i always get nervous when i'm trying to type while people are watching me <laughs> let's make this bigger and now we can start to kind of scale this down So that's fine. Now we can put our slicer right here. So let's drag our slicer in. So we can just click on it. I should fill that spot. There we go. And now let's drag in gender to our slicer. 
So now let's click on mail. And oh, that's interesting. So from a usability standpoint, our mails aren't doing so well. So I mean, it seems like there is, we go to females, okay. So now we're having a whole lot more one-star reviews from a usability standpoint for males. So now we're starting to uncover insights and essentially we built out a little data app that we could then hand off to our client. So that was a quick walkthrough of how you can work with survey data within Power BI. I think the Likert scale is the way to go and then adding in different slicers gives you a nice usability component that can really help your end user uncover insights. So that was just a quick walkthrough. I'll see you guys in the upcoming episodes. Ciao.